Okay, next up we've got tip number six, how to take great photos at the beach. Um, this is another place where I think a lot of people, when they go on vacation or uh, go on a trip, they come back not quite satisfied with their photos from the beach. And there's usually a couple reasons why your beach photos didn't turn out as well as you'd like. The number one reason has to do with the fact that I mentioned earlier, which is that your camera actually doesn't see light in the same way that your eye does. So it can be a little bit difficult to translate what you're seeing to what the camera can see. So in the case of the beach, what's usually happening is the bright sand, you know, the white sand is too bright and, and white for the camera to balance for. The camera is set to balance everything to be more or less a neutral gray. So if you're shooting something that's completely white, uh, it sets off the camera's meter so it doesn't quite get it right. So very often you'll need to overexpose, which is called exposure compensation. So you need to actually overexpose the shot. The other reason that many beach photos turn out badly is the water doesn't look quite as intense as it did when you're looking at it with your sunglasses. And the reason why this looks different through your sunglasses is most sunglasses now will have some sort of UV, ultraviolet, or polarizing coating that will actually reduce the reflection and glare from the water that actually lets you see through the surface of the water and see the actual deep blue color. So I actually use what's called a circular polarizing filter. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a round piece of glass um, that's a polarizer, which works more or less like your polarizing sunglasses. So if you're not familiar with polarizing sunglasses, you could probably just borrow a pair from a friend, and either look at a blue sky or look at a maybe a car window reflection, and then all of a sudden you'll, you'll actually be able to see through the uh, reflection that's normally on the glass because the polarizing filter absorbs that reflected light so that you can actually see through the reflection which works the same way as when you're looking at water because water actually reflects light very similar to the way that glass reflects light so you can actually see through that and then that way you can actually see the deep blue color of the water so this uh, circular polarizing filter again works more or less like like a pair of sunglasses for your camera it actually allows me to dial down the reflection so that I'm seeing through that reflected light that's on the surface of, uh, of the water and lets me see down into the deep blue and get those really nice deep blue colors, which is what you're really looking for when you're shooting the beach. So let's take this photo for example. This was taken in the northern part of Palawan in the Philippines. I shot this using this uh, circular polarizer and I was trying to get that island perfection look, you know, the clear blue water, the perfectly white sand and the tall green palm trees towering above on the you know deserted tropical island right there. So really the only way to get this effect is using a polarizer. And you don't actually always have to buy a polarizing filter. If you're using uh, a point and shoot with a you know, relatively small lens, you can actually just kind of put your sunglasses over the lens. So kind of block the lens with your sunglasses. You know, as long as the lens is, uh, the, the lens on your sunglasses is bigger than the lens on your camera, you can you know, do some fine tune adjustments by turning the glasses, you know, which works in the same way as, as, as when I rotate this polarizing filter. If you don't know exactly what I'm talking about, you can pick up a circular polarizer in a camera shop and test it out on your lens and you'll see what I mean.